coming out of it. I'm coming out of everything, all of these traps that the devil has placed before me in my life. I'm done with it. I'm about to excel, guys, and so are you. Y'all are about to step out of it. You know, those of you that watch just little old me over here in Tennessee, those of you that watch and if you hear anything that grabs a hold of your heart and encourages you, hang on to that. Hang on to it because that's God moving in your, your life and he wants to help you guys. Um, God is a loving God. God's not a God of confusion. And so many people get sidetracked on that. Drama, 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 drama. And I don't want no part of it. You know, we we should always continue and be in prayer and in praise and, and lifting God's name up. Not none of this drama mess. I mean, there's so much out here in this world, like in the world with like politics and the nation, how how they've took God out of schools and all of this stuff. And then we're over here focusing on one little bitty thing in, in our lives that has just turmoiled us and got our eyes off focus on God. That's how the devil comes in and steals our joy and peace. And he makes us discouraged. And I don't have time for it. I don't have time for discouragement. I don't have time for defeat. I don't have time for all of the 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 tactics that the devil tries to throw at you and me. And I know y'all don't. You know, everybody wants to be happy. And the only way that we can be happy is through God. And that takes a lot of dedication and sacrifice and praying and fasting and seeking God's face. And whenever you do that, you're going to come out of it. Slowly by slowly, you will feel it's like you're mired up with mud. Or as I used to say, marred. I still say marred. Let's just say it the way I say it. Marred up in mud. And you're so far down. But the longer you seek God and you cry out to God and you praise God through the storms, you're coming out of that mire. And it like you get stronger and stronger. And that mud will like seep you in and it'll seep you in. But the more times you pray and seek God, you're going to come up out of it. And you're going to come out of it and then you're going to be walking. And you'll be out of all that mess that you've once been in. That's what God's, God wants to do that for you all. He wants to do that for me. But it's up to us to really keep the faith and, and trust Him. It all starts in faith. You've got to have faith. If you don't have faith, you're going to be stuck. If you don't believe, you're going to be stuck. So why should we just sit and not believe? Why should we sit in discouragement when, when God can help us? We don't have to carry burdens. We don't have to carry loads. Some of us get in relationships. Like for me, I was married for 13 years almost. And at the time, it started off good and then it was miserable. God don't want that. And, you know, I don't I don't talk on this subject much because I don't like getting into business like this, but God don't want any of that. And if you're, um, if you're in that, you pray to God and show you the way, and he will show you. God does not want us to be held in bondage. bondage. He don't want us to be in fear, but he wants us to, to, to trust in him to get out of that. I don't even know why I got on that subject, but it's the truth. The devil's a liar. Got no time for him. And I know y'all don't either. And I'm drinking my coffee this morning. Yes, girls and guys, whoever's up on here. There is Judith and Johnny Russell. Hey, hey, hey. And Ruby's on. I hope you guys are drinking coffee this morning or tea or something. Faith and belief go hand in hand. One big hug. You are a strong lady. Well, the good Lord up above makes me strong. Caffeine, yes. Gotta have caffeine. Um, amen, sisters. Say it out loud and say it proud. That's right. Hey, I'm not ashamed. You know, even though people assume me... I'm not knocking on women preacher because I don't have nothing to get against them. Um, but people said that I was a woman preacher up on here. Really? Just because I get on here and talk about God and share God's word and 
my testimony doesn't mean that I I'm, I am that. You know, I, God's not revealed any of that to me. And, um, you know, the devil tried to like sow that little seed in my mind. Well, maybe you should just stop getting on here and talking because people's going to think this and people's going to think that. But guess what? I'm not stopping. I don't have time. Just like I said, I don't have time for the devil's tactics. Just because I get on here don't mean nothing that, you know, I'm, I'm a woman preacher. Um, you know, I'm, God's chose me to, to share God's testimony and whatever he gives me, I'm going to share it. And, and, and if I offend anybody, I'm sorry, but you know what? They ain't nothing going to stop me. They ain't nothing going to break me. They ain't nothing going to, I might bend a little bit, but this girl don't break. This girl does not break. I've been through so much hell from the time I was born all the way up until now. It's getting a little bit better now because I'm coming out of the miry clay, just like we were talking about. But I've been through so much hell, and they ain't nothing that can break me. You can do all sorts of things to me. People can say all kinds of hurtful things to me, but I don't break. I might cry a little bit, shed a few tears, but at the end of the day, I've got Jesus on my side, and I ain't even worried about it. So there you go. There's some sass of the day. Sass of the day, guys. Get y'all some of that. Just saying. But anyways, nothing to be sorry about. This helped me so much. It changed my path. Well, praise the Lord, Leanne. It changed my path too. I started talking to you guys and I could feel the Lord blowing up on my way. Let him brush across y'all's shoulders and let him touch you. Because he touched me this morning. Like I said, just when I'm speaking to you, you all, I'm speaking to myself too. So anyways, I've got a book here, Joel Osteen. And it says, Your Best Life Now. And anyway, so I was talking about discouragement, and I found a chapter in here on discouragement. I just opened it up, and there it was. So I was like, yep, that's a confirmation I need to talk about this. So anyways, let me go over here to it. Which one was it? Um, I have two marked down here. Well, let's just start right here then. That's what we're going to do. So anyways, on the edge of your promised land, I have two marked off that really grabbed my attention today. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. There comes a train. <clears throat> so it says, Thou... Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth thee. That's in Isaiah, Isaiah 26, 3. And it says, One of the most important bits of information that you need to reinstall in your mental computer is that you are a victor and not a victim. The scripture teaches, If God is for you, who can be against you? That is in Romans 8, 31. Right here, when negative, discouraging thoughts come, cast them down immediately and make a conscious choice to dwell on what God says about you. What does God say about you? What does God say about me? He loves us and he wants us to, to go greater and beyond. That's what God says. Anything that's negative, God don't say. You know, God might want us to, to do things better, but he still loves us. Anything that's full of hate and envy and strive, God don't say any of that. For instance, a thought comes to you that, you that you're going to get sick or that you have some serious disease. Refuse to dwell on that thought. Just say, Father, I thank you that you are a restoring health unto me. I thank you that I'm going to live and not die, that I will declare the works of the Lord. I used to have to say that when I had heart trouble. Or perhaps a thought comes to you that you are not going to get that promotion you have been seeking or you're not going to get that big contract. Reject that sort of thinking and declare instead, Father, you said that no no good thing will you withhold when I walk uprightly. You said when I'm obedient, your blessings will chase me down and overtake me, so I thank you that you've got things in store. So the devil tells me, Well, you don't you ain't gonna find a good job. But guess what God says? God wants to bless me. God wants to bless you. So 
for an example, all we gotta do is claim it and God's gonna give it, right? That's what we gotta do, we gotta claim it and God's gonna give it to us. Reprogram one thought at a time by going back to the original manual, the Bible. Our original manual is the Bible. Where you will discover that God always causes you to triumph. God said whatever you put your hands to is going to prosper and succeed. Amen, guys. Did y'all hear that? See, we needed to hear that today. Whatever you put your hands to cannot be cursed. People may try to tell you that your dreams aren't going to come to pass. That you are not able to go any further in life. But don't believe that lies. Don't believe those lies, guys. We ain't got time for that. Don't be discouraged. God said you are well able to fulfill your destiny. So if you're called to be a doctor, if you're called to be a nurse, if you're called to be a lawyer, if you're called to be a minister for God, guess what? Claim it and believe it and you'll receive it. Just saying. When you go through disappointments in life, and we all do, or when you face a setback and it looks as though one of your dreams has died, keep believing. When it looks dark and dreary and you don't see any way out, rem remind yourself that your Heavenly Father created the whole universe. He, he is in control of your life, guiding and directing your, your steps. His plans for you are good, not evil. Don't make the mistake of sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, wow. Haven't we all sat and felt sorry for ourselves time and time after again? We don't have time for that anymore. It's time to stop all that nonsense. No, put on a fresh new attitude. Take what God has given you and make the most of it. <clears throat> you know the truth. It's time to allow the truth to set you free. Recall the Old Testament account of how the children of Israel were camped right next door to the promised land. They were so excited they couldn't wait to enter the land flowing with milk and honey. All they had to do was go in and fight for the land beyond that. God had promised them the victory and he had proved his ability to come through his people. God had parted the Red Sea and brought them forth on dry land. He had supernaturally fed them manna. He, super ma uh, he supernaturally fed them manna. Whatever we have a need for, God's the same as yesterday. And he will do great things for us. He fed them manna in a barren wilderness. You'd think they would have been, f been filled with faith. Primed and ready to drive their enemies out of the promised land. But no, they said it's impossible. It's never going to happen. Their negativity thinking kept them from ever going into promised land. So they clearly seen that God fed them with manna. They had all the food that they could possibly manage to have to eat at that time. But yet their mind discouraged them and had them off thinking and their mind was not set up on God. So therefore, what honey? Here in a little bit, we'll have to call her, okay? Love you. So their negativity and their, their, their mindset kept them from going into the promised land. That's like with us. Discouragement can steal everything that we have. Discouragement can tell you that you're not going to uh, go, go above and beyond. Discouragement will fill our heads with lies. And the moment you put that in your head and you keep thinking on it, guess what? You're not going to get your promised land. What is your promised land today? What What is up on your heart that you want so bad to have? And it could be one thing that could be stealing your promised land. That's the overthinking and the discouragement. Maybe you are camped right next door to your promised land. God has great things he wants to do in your life. He wants to promote you. He wants to increase you. He wants to heal your body, to restore your marriage, or bless you financially, whatever your need God wants to do for you. Maybe you're right on the edge of a miracle. Don't allow a lack of faith or a wrong mindset to rob you of your destiny. If you will get your thinking lined up with God's thinking, nothing will be able to stop you. Man, that is some strong message today. Yes, it is. If you will get your thinking lined up with God's thinking, nothing will be able to stop you. No obstacle will be too high, no situation too difficult. If you believe God's word, all things are possible. All things are possible. Remember the enemy always fights the hardest when he knows God has something great in store for you. The darkest battle 
the darkest the darkest battle the darkest storm will always give give way to the brightest sunrise Woo, that is steep right there. 